this pizza looks lit, yo. I haven't tasted it yet, but it looks lit. It looks lit. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Eric Surf6. Welcome Hello. to another episode of Eric and Neil Time. And today I'm being joined by the lovely and talented Saudi. Hi. She My is dad. a professional model and she's dad. really, really hungry, right? Yeah, like, very like, hungry. Okay, okay. And we are at Devil Craft Pizza. Pizza. They have Chicago style deep dish pizza. And I've heard it's authentic, the real thing. Also, Devil Craft is a craft beer place. And we've just ordered, got our first drinks. And what is what are you having there? Rock Iconias. Black Igneous, and this one is a cocoa and peanut butter craft beer. Welcome to the show. Sure, thank you for inviting me. It tastes like a chocolate bar. It tastes like a chocolate bar. It's got, yeah, the cocoa. Cocoa. I'm not tasting peanut butter. A little bit. It's kind of like a Reese's peanut butter cup. And yours? Let me look at the English and see what that is. Black Ignis. A rich explosion of flavors at the first sip, bursting with toasted cacao and milk caramel sweetness. Yeah. Oh. It says it's very smooth. Yeah. It's like a cacao. Cacao. I think that's what this has got in it, too. Or the Coco. Should we tell the people how we met? I've only met Saudi on one other occasion, and that was for an English textbook. Yeah, English textbook. We did drama kind of thing, and you interviewed me about my YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I had to write a whole bunch of strange vocabulary to fit that into the textbook lesson, and it was weird. <laughs> Would you guys like to see a little bit of that? We're never going to show you. It's so embarrassing. Did you think that you get this kind of reaction when you started making videos? No, I was just having fun. I didn't think I'd get this kind of reaction at all. So, how many views do you now have? It's a shock, but my videos on YouTube have just reached 400 million views. Shall we celebrate? 400 million! That's amazing! It's funny! I love the banana! <laughs> Thanks. But the lighting was really good. The lighting was really good. The lighting's ama amazing. I love the way she says, amazing. It's amazing. It looks like the first two dishes have arrived. Got a gorgeous salad here. This is the house salad. It's blue cheese dressing. I'm going to put this on top of my salad. You, you don't have to, but that's what I'm going to do. That's the way I roll. I like a little bit of crunch with my salad. Would you like one? Thank you. Yeah, maybe have two. Thank you. Two's better. You're so kind. Thank you so much. <laughs> and then there's also like mustard or ketchup for these, if you like. Going in for the onion ring house salad. Yes. The onion ring first. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Every time I drink it's nice and crunchy. It's kind of like tempura style, huh? It's very light. It's like tempura. A little bit sweet. It's perfect. No need. No need for any mustard or ketchup. No need. Right, it's got good flavor. Mm. So Saudi, what what is the the standard diet of a professional model? Do you do you eat a lot of vegetables? Do you eat a lot of meats? So, uh, many protein, protein. A oh, protein? Yeah, vegetable and protein. Yes, and good oil. <laughs> but sometimes I like eating these foods. <laughs> so do I. Yes. So what would be like the preferred protein for a model? What 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 is your best choice for a protein? Like salmon, something like that? Yeah, like, it's dependent on people, but the better is that fish. Fish. How would this be for protein? Are you gonna be able to eat these spicy wings? What do you think of the spicy buffalo wings for protein? Yeah. Would that be okay? Oh, good. good. I was a little bit worried. And uh, deep dish Chicago style pizza would be okay. I hear it's like this thick. 
cheese. I think it's like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheese. cheese is okay? Many, many cheese is okay. Okay, this is great. This is great. I am so happy that you're here. And, and we're not doing an English lesson. We're speaking English, but we're not doing an English lesson. That video shoot that we did was so stressful. <laughs> Eating food and making a YouTube video is much easier. We had to do everything perfect and get all of those hard words. Yes. What was the word? You had to pronounce. What was that word? Characteristic. Characteristic. <laughs> oh my, that's hard for me to say. What are some of the characteristics of um, Elix Surf 6 video? But because they wanted that vocabulary word in the lesson. So, like, sorry. <laughs> so the salad is, it's pretty light, right? Yes. Got mm. So I think we'll uh, we'll pepper in some Japanese words now. You're, you're, you're free to speak a little bit of Japanese if you like. Nihongo demo i desu yo. Oh, it's tasty. And some of you have requested that I do some some minor Japanese lessons. So like you know simple like single words like oishi desu means it's delicious. Delicious is oishi. <laughs> The blue cheese on here is light. I'm not tasting like any big chunks of cheese. It's kind of nice. Let's try the condiments here. So, which do you prefer, the ketchup or the mustard? Mustard, so do I. And I don't know if this is going to be spicy mustard. Typically in Japan, mustard is spicy. Yeah. But since this is a Western restaurant, it's usually more tangy and not as spicy. Oh, really? Tangy. Yeah. I'll let you know. Thank you. It is tangy. Not spicy. Mm. No spicy. But the onion rings themselves are so sweet. Mm. Amai is, man. Amai. Amai, that means sweet. The onion rings themselves, the coating. Very sweet. Which is nice. Right. And light. And what? Karui. Very light, like a tempura. I got the oil on my fingers. No, no. But fortunately, Japan has these things called oshibori. Oshibori. Oshibori, right? But it's like a washcloth. It's a real towel, which is nice, not paper. And that's the nice thing about Japan. And you can you use this as a napkin? You think like so like this is a, this is a napkin, right? But, but, but this is going to get the oil off of your fingers much easier, right? So you have both. You have a choice. I think it's more proper to use this. But when people aren't looking, you can kind of you just use this at the beginning of the meal, yeah. And then at the end of the meal, if you're in a nice place, you would get one of these at the end of the meal too. Yes. Right? So beginning and end. So it depends on the like the class level. This next dish, Saori ordered, and this is buffalo wings with uh, what sauce did you get? Spicy. You have the spicy and blue cheese again, right? Yeah, but spicy. She didn't want mild. So Deep. Sure, yeah, go for really? it. Okay. Well, you don't have to. Yeah, maybe try it like that first. That's okay. Oh, maybe? Yeah, and then you. But actually, if you're going to dip, you can only dip once. Okay. You only get one try. <laughs> mm. I've been to China. They eat just like. Wow. Mm. You make that look so delicious. Are you, you sure you're not a food, a YouTube food video? person like a YouTube foodie are you sure <laughs> This could be the beginning. This could be the beginning. Ah, uh, really tasty. Spicy. Spicy. Too spicy? Not too no? spicy. Okay. Mm. All right. Spicy in Japanese. Karai. Spicy is karai in Japanese. Are we going to do a camera person reveal tonight? I think we are. We've got Andy on camera, the Andy-san. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? I think I'm just going to pour it on top. Let's keep it clean. The camera person always eats. We're going to keep this dressing clean. Would you like to try some? Okay. 
Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Cheers. Cheers. And you get these things in Japan. This is called Toriosara, right? Toriosara. 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 Excuse me. She corrected my Japanese. Toriosara. Serving plate. Yeah. Come on. Oh my god. They're pretty tasty. Do you like mango? Okay, we're not gonna Very saucy. Oh, a lot of barbecue sauce. Oh and here comes the heat. It is spicy. Comes after the spice. I did. I was so sad. It's kind of hard to get all the meat off of it. Round two. Round two. We're gonna do the celery. It's so messy. It's so messy. <laughs> How can you eat that without getting it all over your face? Messy, messy. Have you ever dipped celery in blue cheese dressing? That's the other part of this. These always come together. So you just you can just dip that in. It's a nice. Alrighty. <laughs> and that sort of plunges the palate. Now we're ready to eat the next item, the next meat item. It's nice, it's really kind of nice crunchy freshness. Yeah, they go good. What are you doing, Saudi? I'm approaching a story. What's a story? Story is like the. <laughs> You're telling a story? Sorry. Uh, who, are, who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. Oh, you mean Instagram story? Yeah, Instagram oh. story. Sorry. <laughs> My explanation. No, your explanation was fine. I, I just I don't do YouTube stories. I mean YouTube stories. Well, YouTube has stories. YouTube does have stories. So what do you guys think? Is it good to do Instagram stories? Should I do those? Do you like stories better or doing on your feed? Which do you like? Both, but both. Yeah, but always I'm doing the story. I'm using the story on Instagram. Like every day? Every day. Because people are waiting for you, right? And many people seeing my story. <laughs> Should I be doing stories, you guys? Let me know if you'd be interested in seeing my story. I don't know what I would put in there, but I'll probably figure out something. My strategy is to upload once a day on the feed, but try to find a really cool picture or like make a really short video. Instagram story is a puzzle to upload the so, movie or photo. So even if you make a mistake, it doesn't have to be perfect. You mean? No, not perfect. Not perfect. So, yeah. I'm all about not perfect. I like that. The next dish is spinach and artichoke. 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 That's right. It looks like it looks like avocado. Yeah. Right. Like it looks it looks like guacamole, but it's artichoke. Artichoke. Yeah. All right. So the way we're gonna do it, you, you take a champ and then you go like this, right? You can't dip in there because this is special times. Okay, grab a chip and I'll I'll serve you. Hi, close the Thank you. Is that enough? Too much? Enough. Okay. Thank you. Here we go. Spinach and artichoke. Really? Oh. It's not guacamole. <laughs> not guacamole. Yeah, I guess. It's got sour cream. Mm. Right, there's a. Mm. Interesting. Mm. I've never had a, a dip like this before. Mm. No. It's creamy. Mm. Delicious. This dip right here is friggin' lit. Lit. Are we allowed to say lit about food, Andy? Would, could we describe food with the word lit? Probably not. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty lit. Pretty lit. If you say something is lit, 
sweet. That means it's better than popping, it's better than banging. It's lit. Yeah, I'm trying to learn how to speak like young people, but I'm not doing a very good job. It's lit. So you say, it's lit, it's lit, yo. It's lit, yo. What did you say? <laughs> say it like you mean it. It's lit, yo. It's lit, yo. It's pretty good. That's believable. Much more believable than this guy. This. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna do a video, sorry. Watch and learn. Ready? Yo, what's going on, Instagram? We're at Devil Craft Pizza in Tokyo, and look at this Chicago style deep dish. Oh, it looks lit. Saori is really lit. She is lit for sure. Oh, yeah. There's gonna be a YouTube video coming. Eric is lit. <laughs> Perfect. Don't even need to look at that. Here we go. The Chicago deep dish pizza has arrived. We have got, which one did we order? We ordered the house special that has the works. It's got all the toppings. It smells amazing. And it looks, how does it look? It looks like lit. It looks lit, y'all. It looks lit. And it's also very hot. This is my burning my hands here. I think I think we need to take a quick intermission for would you guys like to see a magic trick? Would you like to see a magic trick? You're the guest, I think. So like magic? I got something better than the pencil trick. Pencil trick. Yeah, actually, in the video that we did, we did the pencil trick. That was, yeah, that was part of the video. Yeah, the classic pencil trick. When did you first become aware that many people were watching your videos? When I uploaded my pencil trick video. Mm -hmm. It's an explanation video of how to do mm -hmm. the pencil trick. Ta da! That's amazing! So, Saudi, would you like to see a magic trick? I brought a really good one today. <laughs> okay, go ahead. You go first, Saudi. Help yourself. Choose, choose. These are the big pieces. These are smaller. And then you can choose what topping you want, too. The works. Which one? Really hot. Oh, it's too hot? Oh my god. Hey, would you like to see a magic trick? Maybe we should wait a few minutes. <laughs> yeah, I want to see your magic. Do you know how to shuffle cards? Mm -hmm. Let me shuffle them. These are brand new cards, so they're mm -hmm. they're in order. Okay. Let's see if I can get a nice ripple shuffle. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> All right. Would you like to, uh, why don't you try to shuffle the cards? Shuffle? Yeah, just any. That's kind of the official way to do it. Oh, you're pretty good at that. That's the riffle shuffle. Nicely done. Okay. Multi-talented you are. Okay. All shuffled, ready to go? Alright. So what we're going to do here, you're going to choose a card. You can choose any card you like. Okay. Any card. Ready? I'm going to spread them out. Any card. Okay. Free choice. Any card. You sure? Alright. Take it out. And I think Saudi is royalty. Kings and queens for sure. Definitely. Ritz Carlton level. I'm going to say that's the king of hearts. The Suicide King. Is it the King of Hearts? Hot no, I mean like no, Please show the camera. Please show the people at home. Did I get it right? Yeah. Right. I got it right. Right. It's good. It's good. No, but no, there no Jisan. This is the Devil Works Chicago style pizza. The works. Yes. It's got everything on it. Should we read what the toppings are? The menu for this place is a QR code. This is how we, we do stuff in Japan now. So look at the menu and find out what's on this pizza. Go online. 
And here we go. It's the Devil Craft Chicago style pizza. Devil Works, it's called. And the toppings on this are pepperoni, Milano salami, Devil's House sausage, mushroom, red onion, green pepper, spinach, fresh tomato, black olives, stuffed green olives. What about the cheese? Okay, mozzarella and Parmesan cheese. Better be. Better be. Better be. All right, let's give it a try. Give it a try. It looks delicious. Also comes with, uh, what is that? It's uh, just red pepper flakes. Red pepper flakes or Tabasco? Tabasco is really popular. Tabasco. All right. As is. Sure, Saudi, thank you for joining me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> a lot of flavors. Yeah, a lot of flavors. A lot of flavors. Really hot. Just blown, maybe. Oh, I see. I just want to eat. I don't want to talk. Mozzarella and Parmesan cheese. I really like the cheese. I'm going to start from the cheese and then we'll go up from the cheese, right? We're starting from the bottom. So the crust on the bottom is very thin on the bottom. Right, but here it's super thick. All the volume is right there. And then on top of the two types of cheese, there's lots and lots of that red sauce. What do you call that? Tomato sauce. A lot of tomato sauce. Look at all that tomato sauce. And it just like we're the bad ones. A lot of tomato sauce. Would you say too much tomato sauce? What do you think? Not too much for me. Not too much? Mm. And the toppings? I'm only tasting mushrooms. <laughs> tasting mushrooms. And maybe some spinach. It's 90% tomato sauce. <laughs> What's up with that? Mm -hmm. oh. Apparently, we were supposed to get it. Mm -hmm. Look at that. I got somebody on the show that's eating faster than me, everybody. Look at this. She's going to clear this pizza before I do. It's got a nice finish. How you eat the crust last. It's filling at the end when you eat the crust last. Very nice. I really like the cheese. The toppings I thought were kind of hard to taste because of all the tomato sauce. Did you taste the toppings? I mean, I was eating so fast, I wasn't really thinking about the toppings, but... That's pretty darn good, though. It's pretty darn good. Real Chicago-style pizza. Is it real? For those of you that are from Chicago or know Chicago-style pizza, is it legit? Is it real deep dish? I would like to know. Because the last time I tried Chicago's deep dish in Japan, it was like, it was all cheese. It was like, it was so much cheese. I loved it. But the people that commented says that's not Chicago-style because there was no bread. It was very just like, man, like Japanese toppings. Man, go heavy on the toppings. Mm -hmm. Round two. Round two. It's going spicy. That That's too like. much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you okay? Maybe. Wow. Wow. I'm going to go for some of this stuff. Kick it off. Oh. Oh. 
That would have been bad. <laughs> it would have been really bad. It looks like it's close. Oh, how cute is that? Look at that. You turn it upside down, it opens. Would you like some of this too, Saudi? No? Yes. Yes? More spicy. More spicy. Oh my god. So these are red, oh these are red, I, I like these are red chili flakes. And I'll, I'll match you with the Tabasco. Why not? Gotta do something for all this tomato sauce. Is that enough? Yeah, karai, karai. All right, here we go. All right, round two. Going spicy. Hot heat. Go cross section. Yeah. <laughs> it tastes like a meat sauce spaghetti to me. <laughs> well, they do have forks. It tastes exactly like a, a bowl of spaghetti. <laughs> That's what it tastes like to me. This is a spaghetti pizza. Without the spaghetti, if you know what I mean. Spicy spaghetti pizza. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good though. When you get the cheese, the cheese and the tomato sauce together, it's really good. Now, Mm. How you guys liking the extra I think it's um, on there? Does it make a difference? <laughs> I'm gonna give it a half cent. Three quarters cent. It's not quite a full cent. Oh, it's still lit though. Would you say it's lit? This pizza? Is it lit? It's lit. Come on. The Tabasco is uh. <laughs> it's pretty hot. Yeah, it's hot. How many of you guys put Tabasco on your pizza? This is the standard in Japan right here. Yeah. And it is for spaghetti too. People will put this on pasta. Uh -huh. Right? Uh -huh. Tabasco. Yeah. Where is this place? Is this in Japan? Yeah, Japan. In Shibuya. Wow, that looks amazing. And that looks amazing too. Wow. 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 <laughs> See, now that's my kind of pizza. Look at all that cheese on there and very minimal sauce, yeah. right? My very shit. minimal sauce. That looks so cheesy. What do you guys think? More cheese on your pizza or more meat sauce on your pizza? <laughs> what do you think? Let us know down in the comments. Yeah. Look at this fabulous dessert, everybody. It's oh my. What? <laughs> <laughs> Could I just have one little bite? Just, just one little tiny, tiny bite? No, it's no. all mine. Okay. <laughs> it looks really good. It smells amazing. No, no meat sauce at all on this. This is, it's a sweet smell. Yeah. All right, you're the guest. You get in there first. First the bite. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you're gonna take? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go big. I'm gonna go big. <laughs> Ready? So that's how models eat dessert. I get it now. So sweet. Oh. It's like candy. Yeah. Sweet. It is a brownie. That's what a brownie is. It's kind of a mix between a, a cake and a cookie and a chocolate bar. Yeah. yeah. 
And I like that the, the brownie is hot and then the ice cream is cold. It kind of mixes together like that. And then the sauce is, what is it? It's like a strawberry sauce maybe. Strawberry, maybe raspberry, which gives it a nice little like tanginess. It's pretty nice. And I believe that's nama cream on top. Nama cream, which means fresh cream in Japanese. No preservatives. The cameraman always eats. The cameraman's going to be really happy. Andy, this is all you, brother. All you, brother. And I, I will take over the camera and film you. Andy knows how to make a dessert look delicious. Right, Andy? That's right. So we're going to go ahead and get ourselves, kind of cut it from the side here. See if I can, oh, yeah. Yeah, you got it all in one, all in one bite. Check that out. Nice. All right. So, uh, it's mm. oh, yeah. Mm. Just oh yeah. No, that cherry sauce is what really makes it. So, the uh, brownie is very decadent. I also like how it has that crispy crunch. You know that? The ice cream's pretty okay. I didn't really taste the cream though. That that cherry sauce is money. It's lit. It's lit. That's what I'm saying. It's friggin' lit. That's what I'm It's friggin' lit, man. Get in there, viewers. It's your turn. Before I get in there. Help yourself. Definitely a quality dessert. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. What did you think of this place? Wow, I just, you know, it was a really interesting experience. Lately I've been eating a lot of Japanese food, so it's been a long time since I've had Western food like this. And what did you guys think? Was that Chicago style pizza legit? Was that real deep dish pizza? I'd like to know. Yeah, so I guess now it's time to rate this meal. But before we rate the meal, I want to give Saori a shout out because she's really big on Instagram, right? You really work hard at your Instagram. Very nice posting. She does the stories and you've got a nice feed. In fact, I was researching your feed and I want to share with you the most favorite picture of yours that I like. Would you like to see it? Okay. And then I would like you to explain the photo. Okay? Okay. It was my first time to uh, go fishing, fishing in Tokyo Bay. And look at that fish. That's a huge fish. This orange fish with the big mouth. And look at that smile on your face. You look legitimately happy. Look at your eyes. That's a real reaction. Some of the other photos that you have posted on Instagram, I'm not really sure. But this, I can definitely feel your excitement. You caught a fish. That's 100% real, right? Yes. There'll be a link to the Insta uh, where down there. Yeah. Right in the top, right in the top line of the description where it should be. Not any silly merch link for my garbage. And now it comes down to the moment of truth. We're going to decide how good or bad this meal was. And you're the guest for this episode, so you're going to rate the meal first. And the rating system is one to six. So one is the worst. It's called the yuck. And then the top is a six, which is a nom nom nom. Okay. So any number between one and six. Dozo. Okay. Today's rating Four out of six, she's going numb. Definitely, that's in the upper half of the rating scale. Nice. And four? Did, what, what did you like the best today? What, what did you enjoy the most? Or what surprised you the most, if anything? Is there anything really special for you here? Besides my company? <coughs> Excuse me. Of course, enjoy uh, food is uh, pizza. <laughs> the pizza, yeah, she's a sauce lady. Yeah, yeah sauce lady. Okay. The pizza was good. I agree. The pizza was interesting. The pizza was so so. The pizza was all right. The pizza wasn't really that good. In fact, I didn't even like pizza at all. But I'm not a sauce guy. See, I don't even like spaghetti. Anything with like that meat sauce, because it's, it's, it's not happening. It's a lot of pizza. I just want a little bit. So maybe deep dish isn't for me. I would have liked a cheesier pizza, like the photo that you the photo that you showed us on your Instagram from Shibuya. But I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm really I really want to know what you guys think. How many times have I said that? How, 
we want to know what you guys think. What is Chicago style pizza? But it was good, and overall, I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go five today. I like the craft beer, that interesting, really flavored beer, and the side dishes were nice. I haven't had really good onion rings in a while, and that what was that dip? The artichoke and spinach. That was so. Good. The buffalo wings were kind of on the high end, right, with the blue cheese, and the salad was good. The dessert we're still working on. But uh, yeah, five out of six. So there it is. Uh, I'd like to thank Saudi for joining me. Thank you so much. And if you guys would like to see Saudi again on the channel, leave a comment down below. I definitely like to have you back. It seems like you enjoy your food. She was eating pizza faster than I was. Goodness gracious. All right, guys. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, we look forward to reading your comments. And Saudi's going to read the comments too. She might even be in the live chat for the premiere. We'll see. And check her out on Instagram. Definitely. See ya. Hey, thanks for making it all the way to my end screen. So now what? Well, click around, watch a few more videos. How about checking out my Patreon account? Links are all right there on the screen. Cheers and beers, team. Get some.